Audible.com is the internet's leading provider of spoken audio entertainment. Content from Audible is downloaded and played back on personal computers, CDs, iPods, your iPhone. Listen whenever and wherever you want. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from, every genre, so fiction, nonfiction, health, fitness, you know, whatever you're into, they've definitely got the book. Audible has it covered. Your choice. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash yogamazing and pick up the book of your choice. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Yoga Amazing Video Podcast. I am Chaz. I'm your host and welcome back. Now as you can see, we're definitely not in the yoga studio. We're actually in my kitchen and I want to talk to you a little bit about yoga snacks. Um, I get emails all the time and people asking me, Chaz, what can I eat before yoga and what do you think I should eat after yoga? Well, it just so happens I just finished my yoga practice and I'm hungry so I brought out a lot of the foods uh, that I like to eat before and after. So this is really just going to be a discussion uh, about, about that subject. Uh, let's get right into it. A lot of people, uh, when they, when I used to have my studio, when I was just, I had my uh, yoga studio, students used to come in right from work and they were very hungry and they literally didn't have time to get anything to eat, which is probably good unless they ate something very healthy. But when they came in the door at the studio, I always had a, um, a very large canister of peanuts that they could um, eat something to give them some protein some some energy uh, so you know peanuts are great uh, but of course I recommend uh, the almonds almonds are actually uh, really good for your body really good for your system so I would say definitely take a handful of these today or you know this is something that you can eat uh, prior to practice and I think that uh, you'll definitely fill yourself up uh, without filling yourself up too much because the last thing you want to do is practice um, on a full stomach. That is one thing you do, do not want to do. I can't stress that enough. You want to make sure that if you do have a snack here, that it's something that you eat probably three hours before. But if you're going to grab a handful of peanuts and you're hungry and you just got off work and you're doing yoga in a, you know, half an hour or so, by all means, eat something like peanuts uh, or something very light. Uh, uh, the other thing that you could try um, is yogurt. Uh, yogurt is a, is a great resource as well to fuel the body and instead of <clears throat> instead of utilizing uh, granola uh, one of the best things that we could use is flax now flaxseed is a well, probably one of the the best plant foods on the planet for our body because it's got tons of omega-3 fiber and antioxidants in there so right here inside of all this mix that uh, with your yogurt and you'll have something very very good and very light so that's something too that you could utilize before your practice. Um, another thing that I like to eat is uh, if you have the uh, gluten-free bread, I use a brand called Udi's Gluten-Free Bread. And uh, it's, a, an, it's an ancient grain millet chia bread. And one thing I like about this one, it, it's very high in protein and very high in fiber. So this, uh, you can get something like this uh, here in the United States. Uh, like a Whole Foods store or something like that um, and it's very good and what I put on there is either I have uh, almond butter and honey or I just you know peanut butter is fine as well uh, something that'll give you some protein something that'll give you some energy and again this isn't so much that it's going to overload you for practice it can give you an energy boost and, and if you don't have um, gluten-free bread you know if you're into whole wheat bread that's fine too you know there's a lot of great breads out there that you can find in your local store and some peanut butter on there some almond butter on there some honey you know this is a great thing uh, to to eat in the morning as well some of this some of that toasted and you've got your great a great little energy food that you can have in the morning you know uh, to run out the door with now let's get into the the big plate of food right here because it's colorful, it's beautiful, it has a lot of things on here. The first thing we're going to talk about here is we've got kale. Now kale is a great vegetable. It's great for, has a lot of antioxidants, it's fiber, it's got great things for the heart, vitamins A and C, detox. It's great for, it's a great detox food if you're cleansing as well and it has zero fat. Of course, then we have um, pineapple, we have strawberries, and we've got celery and celery is, is great. You know, you can dip that in peanut butter as well. That's it's a great thing to eat as well, so good stuff. Um, okay, I'm sorry, I just gotta eat. It's good, good looking stuff. We got blueberries, we got cucumbers, 
We got little uh, tomatoes. We got some grapes, and I've got some some um, almonds right here, and we got green apple. So we have a lot of green, um, and oh, we got spinach too. And now spinach is great, high in fiber. Excuse me while I eat this. Huh. Mom, to never talk to you, never talk with your mouth full. So I had to finish. Sorry, mom. <laughs> so, <coughs> as I choke on it now. So now we got spinach, and now that's great because um, it's it's a cancer fighter. It's got a lot of fiber in it. It's got a lot of antioxidants, you know, in there to to help the immune system. It's great for your vision, your bones, your brain. This is a great plate full of food. Now you have several options of how you can eat this. One, you can blend this all together in a salad of some sort. Uh, but what I like to do, let me move a couple things out of the way here, is I have a couple of things. Uh, and this one right here, of course, if anybody's familiar, this is a juicer. Let me turn this sideways a little bit. And there's a couple different things I've got. Now, I use the juicer because what happens is, is you put your fruits and vegetables in here, the juice comes out of here, and the pulp goes in the back. So basically, it's just getting those pure... Uh, uh, ingredients you know from from all the vegetables the pure juice right to the core and then all the pulp goes back here so then all that you're getting is just you know the juice now this one right here is a new one that I found which I really like a lot and it's called the neutral bullet now I've I have a blender as well but if you try to blend all this up into a blender it becomes more of a smoothie because it just doesn't have the power but by using the neutral bullet uh, and I'm not selling any one of these. Uh, I just like them. By using this one, though, um, it keeps, like when you have an apple, uh, when you don't have the outside, you know, the, uh, you just, when, you, when you put this in here, all you're going to get is the juice. But when you utilize it in here, you're going to get all the fiber from the, um, the apple itself, from the, the inside to the outside. The, you know, so the, everything is, is just... <sighs> It's not as thin as a juicer because you're getting the juice in this one you're getting the pulp, but it grounds it up uh, so much more so than a blender to where it's not a smoothie. So it is, it, it's, it's close either way. But what I like about this one is I can uh, get my fiber with it because on this one I lose the fiber. On this one I gain the fiber. So on this one if I just want to get a cup and drink it and go, that's that one. If I want to get this one it's going to be a little bit fuller and it's going to have a little bit more into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make one with the neutral bullet. So I'm going to grab my um, my kale, my spinach. See how much I can get in here. Uh, strawberries. Just get a handful of this stuff and just throw it in here. I get get the apples. Get my cucumbers. And yes, I did wash my hands. I promise. Then I get <laughs> I get some flaxseed. Uh, then I'm going to get me some. Oh, I got some down here. So I got all that in there. Oh, then I gotta get my blueberries, all those antioxidants right there. So this is a, uh, looks pretty good. Oh, gotta get a, and I haven't put any celery in his, this before. That looks pretty good. So then, let me find the, the top piece, which is, <coughs> where did I put it? Maybe it's down here. Oh, there it is. It's in the shelf. Now I just screw this on. Now, you have to excuse me, it's going to make a little noise. And I'm going to count it in here. Take that one out. And it's going to get a little noisy, and here we go. And there we go. Now, get me a cup over here. Now what I do is I just take this. I just pour this into here. You can see it's a little bit thicker, but not as thick as a smoothie. And then I just get myself a straw if I want one. Take one of my kids' straws, and then I just go to town. Now this is something I would make um, after I do a class because I don't want the the liquid bouncing around in my stomach as I'm doing a vinyasa. So. I hope this helps a lot of people with their snacks before yoga class and after class. And then, of course, um, if you eat a meal 
just eat something healthy. I mean, all this stuff can be made into a salad. Kale's great. I tell you what, take some of that kale, steam it, uh, throw it on a bed of brown rice or quinoa, and from there you can put a little bit of lemon on top of that, and maybe a little bit of some of your favorite dressing, maybe some balsamic vinaigrette. I'm telling you, that is awesome. You know, it's one of my favorite light things to cook after doing yoga. So, if you have any ideas uh, for an upcoming episode, I think that this one's a very unique one and I want to do more like this because this is yoga because yoga is about taking care of yourself here, here and within your body as a whole. And by eating healthier through your yoga practice, it's only going to make you a healthier and stronger individual which will in turn make you happy. So. Again, if you have any ideas for an upcoming episode, please send it to me, Chaz at yogamazing.com. Of course, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. All right, everyone, you all have a great day and enjoy eating your food before or after yoga practice, and I'll see you real soon. Namaste.